afternoon. I wanted to sit by my Wedgwood Blue Lilacs so that you could enjoy them too. I wish flowers lasted much longer than they do. I know the sun is awful, but that's the way it goes because I've been so busy. I'm going to insert all through here stuff that I've been doing and how the garden's growing, but I know we have to do makeup, so here's what I have on. Oh, first off, which was last off, that I put on was the Bulgari Oud the Vert, which is green tea, <laughs> if I were French. Oh man, can you smell? I love it. It smells as light and as beautiful as the bottle. Oh, I'm going to keep the bottle too, but luckily I'm only down to here. I just got it this year. All right, this morning, about how many hours ago? Well, I put on the NARS, let's see if I can do it, Optimal Brightening Concentrate and the Luminous Moisture Cream, little samples that I got. I mix them together, oh delicate, it's coming course, ah. and then on top of that I put the Giorgio Armani, it's 5.5, it's a little dark for me still, the Luminous Silk Foundation. I love samples that come that big. Oh, I have to see delicate. Come here, put. Come put. Here's the bud, and it's full of grass because Dad has been mowing the lawn. All right, he laid down on me. So we have to share my lap. On my, this part, face, let's see what we've got here. It's all Kevin Aquan. I have candlelight as the highlighter, and I'm being rubbed on by a cat face. There's the, um, hopefully, the candlelight. I love this highlighter. I like it better than the Dior one. The Dior Amber Lights, Amber Glow, whatever the heck. It, I brush across and I just don't get much product, but I suppose you know me. And then on my cheeks I have Shadore. Or Shador. Anyway, pink. <laughs> and in the contour I have the Sculpting Powder. I'm trying to remember to hold it longer. I don't know if I did or not. I will try from now on. On my eyes, I watched, uh, I'm going to get her name wrong, so I'm going to put it in a bubble and I'll put it down below too. Um, and she had on like a peach with a brown in the crease. First of all, she's younger and she's gorgeous. And um, go visit her if you haven't already. But um, coral, I took my coral crepe from MAC and I know it's um, limited edition, but I wanted something peachy. And I was going to use it as a... Um, Primer. Uh, my hand's moving because the cat is rubbing. And then um, I watched Mac Shadow Combos and she made me pull out my Naked palette, which I never use much. I guess because it's all beautiful browns. Well, I love brown and I bought a bazillion browns and now I go, oh, it's brown. I should wear a different color. <laughs> God, fickleness. Oh, blind myself. I took the Naked, which is this paler brown, and I did it in the crease, and I couldn't see it. So I took the buck and put it on top of the Naked, and then I could see it. Did I do anything else? Oh, then I took the Smog, which is this guy. Do I have a finger left? And this is kind of a gold color, and I put it on the very bottom, which is probably gone now, but... Um, they're pretty together. I know, the shimmer. So that's why I kept the, the gold really tiny down here. And then I used, oh, I think I used Estee Lauder's liner okay, because I was gonna put eyelashes for you guys. Um, I've done other videos for you guys and I've worn lashes and I've done other stuff. And I've always looked at the videos and hated them. So I'm sorry you didn't get them. But um, Delicata, oh dear, the baby and <laughs> I, the baby's about three now. Um, we'll take you around and we'll show you some more flowers and I'll show you how the garden's doing. The um, dahlias are just breaking the ground and popping up and I'm getting beans and oh, oh let's go see and I want to show you some other flowers too. So in just a minute. See I'm hoping you can see the poppies. They're oriental poppies and they're perennial. They just come up. See what we do is just mow the lawn and then we have a bunch of perennials and you saw around that lilac bush how I had fencing because we have stupid deer and if they can't eat it they'll take their antlers and rub the velvet off on them and Delicata's is back. So let's see if the colors show up any better here. Let's see just silver cheap rings. Um, a lady on the island made these are I want to say garnet but that's not right. 
Carnelian. I think it's Carnelian. Anyway, they're fun and they're nice and cool in the summer. And um, I'm waking up because somebody had to lie down there getting all comfy on my lap. But mom's gonna move again. Hey, Mimi. Wanna say hi? Say hi. I'm a cat. <laughs> okay, let's move over to the peonies. I have to show you the peonies. Well, I think for you to see the peonies, I have to sit on the floor around here. Ugh, I hope this thing's on. And guess who's coming? Come here. There's the baby. It's just a big baby. It has a short tail with a bunch of crooks in it. Your daughter's tamed a feral kid too. She trapped, uh, she lives in the city, and she trapped um, a bunch of cats, probably about four or five of them. And uh, with, uh, well, I can't remember what she used to trap them, but I know oily tuna works. And she took them into the animal protection type agency and they neutered them and she kept the kitten. And she's got it in the house and she tamed it. And you can only do that with kittens. And so now it loves them, it hides under the bed, and they make their guests hold it so that it doesn't just always be afraid of other people, which like this one is. A kind of a scent, which reminds me of as a child, because I grew up here, so these always smelled so good when I was a kid, but um, it's not sweet, so I don't know what peony is when you order a fragrance oil. Uh, they're beautiful, and then all of a sudden the red part just falls apart. But I love them. Anyway, who cares? Let's go see my garden. And what do you follow? And I don't know whether you'll see. But here comes Delicata up the driveway, past the peas. Let's go to the garden. So first of all, I'll do an overview. This is arugula, lettuces. Uh, doesn't look like anybody came up there. Uh, well, some down there did lettuce. And don't really remember. Those must be old seeds that I was trying out. Then we have shallots, and they do real well. And then we have, I call them bond beans. They were heirloom to the island. Uh, they're like lima beans. More shallots. And then, yeah, and then my onions. And delicata. <laughs> okay, cat takes over, huh? Uh, compost pile and a potato at the end of the peas. We've saved these seeds from two years ago, and they're good. So that works out good. And John just got the fence up for them to climb. Um, a couple rows of garlic. And here comes a cat. <laughs> um, oh, my little spinach is popping up. There's some spinach. Not real consistent. I see one, two, three, five plants out of that whole row. Uh, and cat rubbing on the post. Okay, cat, you can't do that because you knock the post down. Um, I've got sweet peas. And uh, I, can't, I think I've got pumpkins and squash kind of things down there. And... What was this? Don't remember. Oh, must be squashes because there's some squash like leaves right there. And then I planted, I bought peas this year. John's always do better, but anyway, there's a few peas coming up all the way down. And then I planted beans, and I was a nincompoop. And I, <laughs> okay, there's a cat. Gotta figure out which way I'm going here. And I planted the whole packet of beans and these are French beans so they're gonna be really yummy so mom you gotta share with me um cat you're rubbing on everything who's this this is broccoli that the cat's sitting on and then here's there's some baby broccoli like um I've bought peppers I got a green pepper and a mild pepper and a hot pepper and then some cilantro these are the peppers and some cilantro and then I don't know some flower plant somebody gave me and there's the chives and corn and corn is trying to come up and if the birds haven't eaten it let's see if I can see well enough to zoom in I think you can see maybe you can see anyway I got corn in this part and a lot of weeds and a lot of the weeds are dill so that's nice then we swing over to here let's see if I can zoom out I've got sunflowers all planted in here and these ones I've planted I think that's one. And there's a cat. Uh, oh boy, they're coming up good. Hooray, because I paid a fortune for them last year. And only a few come up in this row. All right, I got new dahlias. And most of my dahlias look like this. They aren't up yet. But this new one has come up. Let's see, I think he's in the shade, so you won't be able to see. Let's see. I've got, okay, zoom the other way. 
arugula here going to seed, which, yay, do that. I've got parsley here going to seed, and I like that. And that's kind of everywhere, too. And I get, oh, the blossoms are coming on the raspberries. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Anyway, the blossoms are coming, so that means the bees will come and get them going. Oh, I've got a couple of leeks that leftovers and escapee raspberries and steak being rubbed on. I love everybody. And let's see, up here was, oh, here comes another dahlia. Bring this little guy. And we go on slug patrol. And there still don't seem to be as many slugs this year yet. And remember, I have them labeled so that I can find out. And here comes some more. It's so exciting. And then when they bloom, that's even more exciting. Oh, hey, we're here. I can show you my pink. It's kind of pale now, but my pink lilac. Holy moly, smell this. Oh, man. Oh, I wish there were such a thing as smell -o vision That is just wonderful. Um, got a rose here. Got a, oh, that didn't look good. Uh, in fact, it fell off. Oh boy, here it comes. Rhododendron. And it used to be symmetrical. Well, the mice went there and ate the roots, so this side died. But look, it's coming back. And so is that. <laughs> and I have a hydrangea here. And see, I have to stay inside of the fence because of the stupid deer. But um, here's little buds coming. The, this is a white that goes kind of lime green. Or it starts out lime green, goes white. Can't remember. Uh, I moved the primroses because I put in the red dreams on the deck. And Mom got like... Mom last year gave me some strawberries, so now I'm letting them kind of make babies and make a mat, and they're starting to bloom. And I also got, and it was supposed to be this whole row, that knot didn't happen. It's um, asparagus, so I've got that guy and that guy, so I have two of them. And look, here's one coming up. And see, when they're babies, they're real thin like that, and they're actually, oh gosh, they're actually better when they're fatter. And oh, look at all the mint. I've been putting mint in my lemonade. And let me tell you, is that good? It, the only way to make that even better is to put some ginger ale in it. Oh, or Sprite. And if you like Anthony's, uh, then you muddle in some uh, pickled ginger that you can, I don't know where you buy it, but for some reason I had some and it's really good. So let me take you over and show you somebody else. So I have Mr. Copyright in the corral munching, and he's eating the grain at the grass that has at the top. Hi, mister. Is that yummy? That's where all the richness is, that and the uh, clover. You gonna come over here? Munch, munch, munch. Hi. And then I'll put you back in your little corral in a while. Are you che he's checking out the swatches. Let's see, here's the swatches, and here's, oh, now we're checking out the camera. Sorry guys, you got steamed up. Now, <laughs> here is a snoot. You want to see some teeth? Here's horse teeth. And horses only have teeth, hoped. Come here, come here. Horses only have teeth in the front, and that's why, oh, God, I wish I could show you. See, there's no teeth. Oh, all right. Husband has been mowing the lawn. I'm getting ready for visitors this weekend in my little cottage. And here's the door. It says welcome. So, and oh, the iris. Oh, let me show you the iris. See, here's the cattails that John made out of window weights. And that's for cat water. But, uh, let's see if I can zoom back out. Here's the iris. All along the side. And I thought they were going to be all different colors. I dug them all up from the house in various places. And so far I have blue and yellow. <gasps> Wait. Look at this guy. He's like dark, dark purple. Could almost be black. Let's try to zoom in of the color. Oh, yeah, there's some color. But uh, here's the blue. And there's a cat getting a drink. And these are a different one. I don't know what they are. They have a different kind of leaf. And there's some yellow ones. So until next time, I'll see you later.